Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a little bit of a different kind of video, but also not different. So I often kit up with you guys during kitten chats on a Monday video uh, in place of a traditional whip and chat, just because I find it easier to kit up rather than diamond paint while I'm talking to you guys. But I decided that I wanted to go through my full kitting up process. Normally during kitten chats, I'm talking about something or I'm doing tag questions and I don't necessarily show you my process. Now, I don't have a fancy process. Uh, it's probably how most people kit up, but I thought it would still be fun to share it with you guys. So uh, today we're going to be kitting up Irish Christmas Fae. This is from Hannah Lynn. This was a last minute addition to my lineup for December. This kit came out on Black Friday. I believe it is limited edition, but I just thought she was so cute and I really wanted to work on her this year. So we're going to be kitting this one up and this is going to kind of be like a little mini series this week. So we're going to start with kitting up today and then tomorrow you guys will see um, how I prep for my project. So we'll pull some accessories, we'll section off with washi tape, we'll do all that fun stuff. And then um, I think it will be Thursday for you guys. Um, I will be sharing my multi-placing video that I've been talking about a little bit um, in some recent videos. So let's just start kitting up. So when I start, when I sit down to kit up a, a canvas, I have a few things that I immediately need. So I have a storage, uh, set of storage. Today we'll be using this one that I got off of Amazon. I'll see if I can find the link. I've had it for at least a year at this point. It's just these little screw top bottles. This kit only has 31 colors, so we'll definitely have enough here. Uh, I also like to have a pair of scissors. We have our drills. I have any special drills that I want to add to the kit, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And I have a washi tape. So I put washi tape down on my containers, any kind of containers that I'm using. It just makes it much easier to get the labels off when you're finished with the project. And I have already picked my washi tape for my canvas. It's going to be this really pretty like falling snowflake one. And I always try to somewhat coordinate the washi tape. So this one will be for the canvas and this one will be for the drill containers. So we don't need this one right now, but we will in tomorrow's video. And I also have my labels. Now at Diamond Art Club, um, if you're familiar, they're awesome and they give you pre-cut labels. So these are already ready for you to just peel and stick, which is awesome. The only thing is I don't use the serial number when I kit up, so I just trim that off. I just like the symbol and the color code or the DMC. Um, yeah, so those are the things that I need. I also have a little garbage can here. I got this off of Amazon as well. Um, I'll see if I can find that. I've had this for a very, very long time, but you can just type in mini garbage can from on Amazon or anywhere that you like to shop, and I'm sure something will pop up. I just use... Um, dog poopy bags. <laughs> uh, I just buy a, a large set and then I have a bunch of bags to refill this with. Obviously you don't have to use a bag, you can just put it in there, but I like to put a bag in. Okay, I think that's everything. Um, yeah, okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim down my labels. Now I do keep my drills in DMC order, so the serial number on the sticker sheet is relevant to me. I just don't really need it. And I like the way labels fit on the containers better when it's just the two numbers. So let's get into our drills. Now Diamond Art Club does not do their drills in order this way. So you need to do that yourself. They send their drills by weight. There are some companies, uh, Dreamer Designs comes to mind. I think Craftably, if I'm not mistaken, they send their drills in numerical order. So this step is kind of moot when it comes to those companies. But with Diamond Art Club, since they do uh, by weight, 
we do need to sort the drills out. So what I like to do is I like to cut everything apart. Obviously there's two of this color, so I like to keep them together, but every individual color I like to separate from the other bags. And while I do this, I sort them into, um, I guess by hundreds. So these are our 100, so these will go in a pile. We'll have a stack for 400s, 700s, 800s, 900s, and so on. So I will do that quickly. Uh, I think what I'll do is let me time lapse this and I will be right back. Okay, so not too many colors, so that did not take too long. I just, I don't want this video to be super, super long for you guys, so I thought I would do a quick time lapse. Now, as I was sorting these drills out, I noticed that there is a ton of static in these bags. So, um, if you guys can see that, it's going to make kidding up a nightmare. So, um, while I readjusted, I went and grabbed some dryer sheets. I keep dryer, this box of dryer sheets in my diamond painting area. I have a tall set of dresser drawers um, and I just pick these up from the dollar store. I don't really care what they smell like. They don't smell bad, but um, I wasn't too worried about them being like good dryer sheets, if you know what I mean. Um, I just want them for diamond painting. So I'm going to keep one of these out and available to me so that I can combat the static as I'm kidding up. I'm just gonna do a couple of small pieces that I can stick in the containers. I'm probably seeing the amount of static. I'm probably going to just do it for all of the containers um, just because I hate working with static. So we'll start with those and cut up more if we need them. Okay, so I'm going to start at the top of my drill container. Um, I know that some people like to start down here, but I'm gonna start up at the top. Also, like, what is this discoloration on this foam? I don't know if I love that. This is a new washi tape, so I need to get into it. Don't do that at home. <laughs> All right. And with the with blah, 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 with this thickness, oh my gosh, that was so difficult to say. Um, this pretty much fits perfectly on the container, like so. And then I'll put my little sticker right on top. And now when I go to take my labels off, it's not going to be crazy. Now, because of this static, I am gonna grab a tray just because I feel like that's going to be an issue. <laughs> All right, so 114 is our first color, it is an AB. And there is definitely some static, but it's not too bad. But I'm still going to give you a little dryer sheet, friend. And as I go to put them back, I'm just gonna give each container a little shake just to get that dryer sheet down in there. So that is how I start. And now I just kind of go through, get everything in their containers. 135. See a little bit more static in this color. So when you see people or you hear people talking about static, with drills, this is what we mean. So you either shake the bag or you're pouring it out and you have these little pieces that just won't come off the plastic. That is static with drills. Now, if I'm having that issue while I'm kidding up, what I'll do is I'll put a piece of dryer sheet in this bag and then I'll just fold this down and I'll kind of hold it like this and then in the bag, I'll just kind of get it around the dryer sheet. And in theory, they will just come out nice and easily, nice and easily, nice and easy, whatever. <laughs> it 
and then I'll just pop that dryer sheet right in the container. I'm kind of, okay, I hate static, but I'm kind of glad there's static for this video because I feel like it helps me address some different info, info that I normally wouldn't really talk about. Um, so that's exciting. All right, 137, we have three ABs in this kit. I think she's so cute. I don't know. I've been on a Hannah Lynn kick lately and I only picked up one kit from her during the Black Friday sale, even though there was another one I wanted, but I was like, you don't need it. Get the one that you really want. This one was, as like I said, I believe it was limited edition. I think it might actually be sold out at this point. So I'm really sorry, but I really wanted to work on it. So unfortunately, the Craftably kit uh, Christmas basket that I won from the Claws and Paws event, that one was put away in favor of this one. So I'm sorry if you were really looking forward to me working on that kit. It's staying in my stash. It will definitely be worked on eventually. Uh, so stay tuned. Thinking I might participate in some of the Christmas in July events that happen. I have a lot of Christmas kits and I really need to be working on them, but we'll see. I'm very much a seasonal diamond painter, so I like to work on ocean and beachy themed kits in the summer, but we'll see. Okay, this is 155. I am seeing some, oh geez. I am seeing some static in this one. Let's see if we can see how they're like collecting at the top there. Ugh, static is so annoying. I also spilt a bunch of drills, but it's fine. These must be Diamond Art Club's newest rounds, which is another reason that I kind of wanted to work on this kit because I haven't worked on a new Diamond Art Club release. So I think this will be my first one with these specific round drills. So I am really looking forward to to seeing how that comes together. So. And I also wanted to find a kit that would be good for my color blocking video that I'm going to do. Like not color blocking video, my multi-placing video. Um, and usually a Hannah Lynn is a very good for color blocking, which means it's very good for multi-placing. 162. I don't know why I'm cutting the whole top off. I need to just be cutting a corner because I keep spilling. Ah, static. All right. You see the static in there? So that's what it looks like. Let's give it a shake with the dryer sheet. And now they're staying off the side. So definitely try a dryer sheet. I think in other countries, specifically like the UK, I think you guys call them like tumble, tumble sheet, tumble something. Mm -hmm. Some of you have, have asked me before when I've talked about dryer sheets, I have had people say like, do you mean tumble something? And I'm like, yeah, that's what I mean. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm an uncultured swine. All right, for this black, I'm definitely just cutting the corner off because there's a lot of it. Thankfully, not too much static. So what I do when I have multiple of the same color, I just fill the next container, um, especially when I know that I have enough containers. I think this is a 40, oh, I can fit some more black in there. Uh, I think this is a 40 piece set. So I know I'll have enough. There's only 31 colors. Um, so I don't label them. I just kind of no. Obviously, I think we all know that the black is the 310, but I know that the ones that follow the labeled one are the same color because when I get to a new color, there'll be a label. So that's just kind of how I 
handle it. Ah, so much static. This one got in my hair. All right, let's see if I can stick a dryer sheet in there. Get that folded. Stick that in there. I have plenty of spare three tendrils, so I'm not too worried about losing one or two. Get those. All right. You, my dryer sheet friend, are going to go in this container. So it looks like we'll probably need five or six containers, but that's okay. Hannah Lynn normally has quite a bit black, quite a bit of black because she tends to, a lot of her pieces, she has a lot of black outlining, similar to Mandy Manzano, if you're familiar. Still on 310, so I don't know why I put that piece of washi on there. I love how at the beginning of the video, I was like, it's so much easier for me to talk to you guys while I'm kidding up rather than diamond painting. And I have messed up like three times already today. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Can't win them all. All right. I'm going to be proactive here. Put a dryer sheet in. Shake these around. I am almost finished with my current project. I have a few, just a few drills left to lay down and then I can move on to this one and I cannot wait. I am so done <laughs> with that diamond painting. I talked about it a little bit in my whip and chat, but yikes. That diamond painting, look at all this static. That diamond painting has given me a run for my money. I'm over it. Isn't it such a bummer when a painting you're looking so forward to ends up being like such a chore? Ugh. Such a bummer, but that's okay. It's still coming out very nicely, which is really all you can ask for. As far as I'm concerned. But I will be happy to put it in the rear view mirror for sure. Wow. Lots of static. In this 340 color... Just a few stuck up in there that will not come out. So let's cut this bag. Let's see if we can get them. It's okay. You're safe in this container. Make your way. <laughs> I think this one needs a double jar sheet. All right. 340. I think it's actually kind of a good thing that I have a little bit left on that other painting to do because these drills can, they can sit for a little bit and de-staticify themselves. That is an official word, de-staticify. 350. Get in there. Oy, oy, oy. If you have worked on these new rounds from Diamond Art Club, is this static just a thing now? Are we just going to have very staticky drills? I feel like I need to be prepared for the answer to be yes on that one. 351. I feel like I remember Brie from Painting with Pities. Uh, I feel like I remember her saying something about the static with the with the new rounds. And I was like, oh no. So yikes. Like I already get drills all over the place when I diamond paint. I'm so <laughs> They just appear. Uh, my niece and I were in the kitchen this weekend and she was like, I just found a diamond from your diamond paintings. And I was like, oh yeah, 
that happens. <laughs> I found one stuck to my thigh the other day. <laughs> like I felt it through my leggings and I was like, how does that even happen? How, how, how does that happen? I swear I diamond paint in pants. I, I swear to you. <laughs> Things only a diamond painter would say. All right, 352. Ooh, that one's pretty good. We love to see it. You're getting a dryer sheet just to be sure though. And 353. I love when you have multiple colors like in a row, like in sequence, it means you're gonna get some pretty good shading. Three fifty-three. I did not cut that enough. A little bit of static in that one. A dryer sheet for you too, my friend. All right, we made it to the four hundreds, which we only have one of. 900 all right not too shabby so 498 I'm surprised we don't have any 666 in this kit I know I just sounded like I had a <laughs> had a lisp with that little spiel I just did 666 You can live right there for now. These are a little staticky, so I am going to shove a dryer sheet in here. Give this the old shakedown. Now, do this part at your own risk with the bag open because you don't want to be responsible for your drills going flying all over your area, so. Shake the bag when it's cut open at your own risk. All right, we're getting there. Do you like kidding up? Are you a kidding up kind of person? I do enjoy kitting up. I feel like I don't enjoy it as much as I used to. I used to like kit up in advance. So I would still be not even halfway through a diamond painting and I would be like, oh, I got to kit up my next one. <laughs> uh, which kind of bit me in the butt in the end because I ended up like probably not actually working on that kit. So I just had storage that was tied up. But um. Yeah, do you like to kit up? Do you prefer to kit down? I'm definitely kit up versus kit down, like kitting up wins every time. Because when I'm kitting down, I'm always like, I should be diamond painting right now, not organizing drills. Which is a change for me because when I first started diamond painting, I was all about kitting up and kitting down. Like I wouldn't allow myself to start a new piece until I was kitted down, everything was organized. Whereas now, I'm like, I'd rather be diamond painting. Thank you very much. $5.98. Well, lots of static in that one as well. So, you get a dryer sheet. You get a dryer sheet. You get a dryer sheet. Ugh, Oprah. I can't believe I just made an Oprah reference. <laughs> I used to be a big Oprah fan. And then she went out and did that documentary interview thing with... Used to be Prince Harry and whatever her face. <laughs> so, now we don't talk about Oprah, okay? $6.99. I know that that's probably a very, like, what's the word? 
um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I know a lot of people have like their own opinions, right, on the Harry, Meghan, royal family drama. I used to be Team Harry forever, okay? I loved Harry. He was my favorite. And then freaking Meghan Markle came along. Now I'm Team William. <laughs> Let me know down below if you're <laughs> Team William or Team Harry. And if you've watched the Netflix special, I have not watched the Netflix special. I don't think I will. I don't even have Netflix, but my sister has Netflix. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Look at all, look at this. This is awful. Oh my goodness. Maybe the universe is telling me that they're Team Harry and Meghan. <laughs> okay, come on back, my friends. You'll be okay. Going to get you in your container where you belong. You'll be all right. And I'm not anti Megan because I'm anti, like, I'm not racist, I promise. <laughs> I just don't like what she's doing about doing with the family, okay? I liked her when she joined the family. I thought she would be great. And then... You know, if what, if what everybody, everybody has a different story, right? So if what they're saying happened, then shame on the royal family. But if what they said really happened, I feel like that they would, would have and should have gone about it in a different way, as opposed to making a Netflix special and an Oprah interview and whatever. If you're from Canada or the UK, and it's actually relevant to you, like the royal family. I live in the United States, which, you know, doesn't really matter. But I'm curious, are you team Meghan and Harry? Or are you team William, Catherine, and the royal family? I don't know. My tolerance for the royal family has gone down just a little bit since the queen died. Because she was just like the goat. Where has this kidding up video gone? I mean, we're talking about random stuff that doesn't even really matter. Especially to me, because I live in the US. <laughs> I'm curious. Are you Team Harry? Team William? Team don't care? Let me know. Okay, back to this kidding up video. <laughs> I said this wasn't going to be a kitten chat, yet here I am talking about whatever whatever you want to call that fiasco. All right. Thank God the U.S. doesn't have a royal family. Could you imagine the drama? Oh my gosh. I mean, if the U.S. did have a royal family, it would clearly be the Kennedys, right? Are we all in agreement with that? Although, like, which line would have been the like the main, probably JFK, right? But then that would mean Caroline Kennedy and she's kind of meh. Why am I talking about politics and royal families? <laughs> I've been filming a lot today. <laughs> I feel like I'm running out of things to talk about. So just talking about random stuff. All right, 700, 702 is next. I just went to check my phone because imagine if I wasn't recording any of this. I was like, did I hit record after I did my time lapse? I sure hope so. That would have sucked. Although it probably would have saved me the embarrassment from talking about the royal family. <laughs> Yikes. Laura has gone off the deep end. This is why I can't do daily videos because I have nothing to talk about. Although, small update from my whipping chat yesterday. Um, I did do my chocolate chip cookies this morning and I did finish wrapping presents. I did clean my kitchen and what else have I done? 
still working on laundry. I still have, oops, I still have one more cookie, type of cookie that I wanna make. Steven texted and said, everyone loved all of the treats that I sent to work with him, so that's nice. And yeah, it's been productive. I do have a few more videos that I need to film today though. Which some of them kind of hinged on getting this video filmed because I can't really film the series if I don't get the first video in the series done. 7.96. Wow, these two colors are so close. Can you see a difference? 7.96 and 7.97 look identical to me. $7.96. Drill in my hair. All right, $7.97. you up. Get rid of all that static. Yeah, that didn't work. Good job, Laura. <laughs> Yikes. I really hope that this static does not become a trend with Diamond Art Club. I really hope it doesn't. Because it will definitely keep me from wanting to kit up their diamond paintings. I think I've said 6,000 times, I hate working with static. I hate it. I mean, I'm sure nobody enjoys it, but ugh. Ooh, you know what? Totally unrelated to anything we're, we've been talking about, but does anybody watch Holiday Baking Championship? I'm filming this on Monday, which means tonight is the finale. I think the person I don't want to win is going to win. I believe his name is Aaron. I don't know. He gives me, he doesn't give me good vibes. He kind of has that like, I'm better than all of you type of vibe. No offense, Aaron. It could just be the way that Food Network has edited you on the show. But I want, oh, what's her name? Dang it. I can't remember her name. Mm. I can't remember her name. That's going to really bother me. I'm going to put her picture up here. <laughs> I want her to win. By the time you guys are seeing this on Tuesday, we will know who won. Um, but I really want her to win. I like her a lot. I think she's like her specialty is like making ice cream or something. I remember that from one of the challenges, but yeah, I'm a big, I love baking. I love watching all the baking challenges on Food Network. It's one of the reasons why we always have to have like a way to watch live TV. Right now we're doing Hulu live. We've, we've done Sling. Um, oh, hello, Luna. I was wondering who was making all that noise. We've done Sling, uh, but right now we're doing Hulu Live, so. Halloween baking and Hall Halloween and holiday baking championships are my favorite. I also like Christmas cookie challenge, just because I like to live vicariously. Like I can make, I can bake, not to toot my own horn, but I can bake. I bake very well, but the like decoration and all that stuff, that's not really. Not really my strong suit. The way people decorate Christmas cookies blows my mind. I watched one today on Instagram. Somebody did a gnome out of a Christmas tree cookie cutter. Like, how? What are you doing, Lou? 
ones? Uh oh. Oh no no. Those are your Christmas presents. No, 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 no. You can't have those yet. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I left the box open. You have to wait until next weekend. Until Christmas, silly girl. Sorry about that. <laughs> she was right up in her her treats for Christmas. <laughs> oh, she's trying to get back in the box. I'm sorry, Luna. I shouldn't have. I, I did that to you. I apologize. Get out of there. Oh, boy. She's like, I don't know if you guys can hear her, but she is trying to get into that box. <laughs> I was going through all the presents, making sure I had everything together and everything was wrapped. And... We do a stocking for her. We don't do like a gift. She's a cat. But um, I don't want to pull the stockings yet because they look pretty where they are. So I can't fill her stocking yet. So I just have it <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> have I mentioned that I hate this freaking static? Luna. Christmas like everybody else. We may not have that. I'll give you some treats when I'm done, okay? But you can't have your Christmas ones yet. <laughs> You're just like a human child trying to find your presents. We cut up a few more pieces of dryer sheet. Uh, how do you handle static e drills? I know some people do the like scent beads. I don't do that. And I think some people use, I've heard some people use something else. Uh, I'm curious, how do you handle? Static e-drills when you're kidding up, when you're working on your project. Because if there's a better way than how I do it, I would love to know. <laughs> I do feel like the dryer sheet uh, helps quite a bit, though. I'll just work around the dryer sheet as I'm pouring drills into my tray and stuff. Almost done. We've got like eight colors left to go. Then we will have another project ready to be started. I think this will be my 45th project of the year, which is crazy. Crazy. Over the next like week or so as I'm filming videos, I know I'm gonna be like, can you believe it's, it's almost January? But honestly, can you believe it's almost January? I can't. I feel like it's still the beginning of 2022, yet here we are. Full speed ahead to 2023. Yikes. 3746. I don't know that I know this color. 3746. It's a really beautiful purple. Kind of like a purple blue, but I don't know that I've ever had this color. static 
we definitely would have been done with this by now. Look at this. Ugh. Oh my gosh. It had to be this kit. It just had to be this kit, right? Had to be the one I was using for a kit up video. <laughs> there. I know I've left some drills behind in these bags, so I hope that doesn't come end up biting me in the butt, but I should be okay. Thirty-eight ten. I'm ready to be done. Yes, I am. 3811. That's you. I mean, how many times can I be like, just look at this, but just, just look at that. It's so bad. Ugh. Now static can be, you know, your weather, uh, it is getting colder out here. So it could be that, but I don't know. I think, didn't Diamond Art Club used to put like little holes in their bags to help with static? I don't see that in these particular drills. So I wonder if maybe they're stopping that, if they're experimenting, because clearly uh, doing that seemed to have helped. So hopefully that's maybe something they'll go back to. Maybe it's just kit specific to this particular kit, you know, my weather or something else, but it doesn't mean it's not frustrating. Because I was anticipating this video being like 20 minutes super quick kit up video, but alas, this clip alone is 37 minutes. So and I don't know how long I filmed before, but that's okay. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Oh, I just threw those drills everywhere. Maybe I shouldn't film another video today. <laughs> I feel like it's not just not meant to be. All right, three more colors. We can do this. 3846 is a pretty popular color. Next is 3853. Just this orange color. I'm curious to see where that winds up. I don't feel like 
orange is really a color that I see. Maybe it's like the blush on her cheeks and her shoulders. That's my guess. But then again, there's only a handful, so we shall see. And finally, we have 3865. Now, I do have some plans for 3865. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to completely replace or just sprinkle some ABs in, but I have a couple of bags here from DP with Sparklers. I think I have another full bag from them. And this is the single bag that came in the kit itself. So I think I could replace everything. I just need to take a look at the canvas. Um, I'm assuming that this is the snow that's falling around her. And I definitely enjoy when there's a white AB for snow and stuff like that. But for this kit, they skipped that, which is interesting. I feel like normally they're pretty good about 141 AB um, in snow. Oh my gosh. And all that fun stuff. But oh my goodness, these drills. <laughs> uh, uh. Well, to say that I will be excited to have this one kitted up is the freaking understatement of the year because what the heck is happening here? All right, I'm going to do a second container. This is the second video in a row where I've gotten very frustrated. So for that, I apologize, but I'm sure you get it. I'm sure you get it. All right, let's get these ones. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What the heck is happening? You know, some days you just can't, you just can't catch a break. And if the worst part of my day is that I've spilt a bunch of drills for diamond painting, I feel like I'm doing pretty dang good, right? I'm just scooping these off the side of my desk. All right, I'm calling it. I'm calling that good enough. Let's get some dryer sheets in here. Give these a little shake. A little shake for this one. All right, we are <laughs> finally, we're finally done. Here is our set of drills. Don't mind the mess over here. I'm just going to put these ABs in the top little zipper pouch here. And when I get ready to work on it, I will have them, but thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me while I kitted up Irish Christmas Fay. Uh, tomorrow's video for you guys will be me prepping the canvas as well as choosing my accessories. Uh, so that should be fun. Hopefully nothing I can do wrong <laughs> on that one, but only time will tell. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.